since Gypsy Rose has been out of prison, there have been several women who were in prison with her that have stepped forward and spoken out about who Gypsy was and how she acted behind bars. Now, it's not surprising to hear, from everything I've heard at least, that Gypsy Rose was a completely different person in prison. In fact, I haven't really heard many positive things. Most of the things that I've heard have been negative. Now, recently, a couple of women who were locked up with, with Gypsy Rose, they were on a TikTok live stream. Now, I don't do TikTok, but one of you all sent me over some clips, and I want to react to those clips here today. Now, they reveal some interesting information for sure. They talk about some things that I didn't know, but they also confirm some things that I suspected. In this clip that I'm about to show you all, they confirm some of the things that I've already called out in past videos. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll this clip really quickly. And then I'm going to be right back with more thoughts of my own. She can try to sue me. She really can. I am not worried about Miss Jip Jip. I did not watch her show. No, I'm probably not going to just because it's I literally when I hear her talk, it's so annoying. Like she was on live. She got on live after I was live last night. And I tried to watch it, and it, I literally could only watch for like five seconds of it and just had people tell me what she was saying. Because, like, I literally could not. Yeah, Gypsy was not a lesbian. Gypsy didn't, if she, like I said, a girlfriend, it's they used her for canteen, which she claims she got like $500 every two weeks. Okay. Your spending limit's $800 or $80 a week. So, yes, yeah, she did hang out with the pedophiles and the child molesters. Those were her people. Those were the gang of people she hung out with. She did know their charges. Everybody knew who the chomos were. The innocent thing is an act for sure. Yes. She was literally coached and trained growing up how to speak and talk um, in interviews and um, like she knew how to do that. Her mom taught her how to do that. She was absolutely not even close to being a leader of anything. Her real voice, we don't know her real voice because her voice is completely different in prison than it is right now in real life. Oh, hi, and pitchy. Well, no. Nah. <laughs> I can't even. I can't even do that. Hi, my name's. Her Jesse. voice was so squeaky. <laughs> so funny, no. Nah. Yes, yeah, she would talk like this. Oh. I mean, she did. I mean, she told. Like I said last night, she did tell some people in there without straight up saying I did it. She told some people that she did it without saying she did it. Like that's that's where the whole like stab wounds come into play. There, Nick has came out and said he only stabbed Dee Dee seven times, no, no. and out of like the seventeen or twenty stab wounds, seven of them were the deepest. Yeah, literally. He said, did she ever get jumped? Hell no. Nah. Gypsy ain't getting no fights. No. No. <laughs> Fuck no. <That's> <laughs> uh, she pulled an OJ Simpson for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. No R. Kelly shit. <laughs> she was not the leader of the pod. These comments are so funny. Man, I swear. I was reading someone. 
<laughs> was she protected by people in their fuck no hell no <laughs> oh no gypsy you need to tap in with us yeah how do i do that fuck i don't know she probably won't accept it anyways <laughs> he hung out with the chomos and the pedophiles like you don't that's like co you don't do that you get labeled as one <laughs> gypsy that was there with us for a while before we all Not left we got there before we got there no we got there before she did oh yeah that's right she, did she get commissary hell yeah bitch came back with five bags <laughs> Gypsy Rose allegedly hanging around the Chomos is like the least surprising thing I've ever heard. For some reason, I could just imagine that they would probably gravitate towards her because as I always point out, part of Gypsy's act is to almost act like a child, even in her 30s now. That's part of her defense mechanism, and she has this aura that she puts around her, around herself, like that of a of a child, of like a twelve year old, and the high pitched voice and everything. It just it just all kind of comes together and makes sense. Now, I, I mean, this is all alleged. I wasn't in jail with Gypsy. You know, I probably could have been if I committed a crime and put on a wig and pretended that I felt like a little girl inside. They would probably lock me up in a women's prison. But, you know, none of us were there. We're only relying on what these people have to say. But it's just this stuff sounds very believable to me. And a lot of this stuff, not necessarily the Chomo stuff, but a lot of the stuff they said, it's stuff that I already thought and suspected anyway. You know, some people got offended a few days ago when I mentioned that Gypsy Rose took the opportunity. She waited until June, right? Gypsy waited until Pride Month and then started talking to the tabloids about how she used to kiss girls and how she experimented with girls in prison and how she's been with more girls than guys. And it was weird to me because everything we... And listen, I understand that women experiment in jail. I'm not trying to say that that didn't happen. But it was weird to me and it seemed very opportunistic that she waited until Pride Month to release this information. Everything we ever have heard about Gypsy, everything we know about Gypsy is her fawning over and going crazy over boys or guys. You know what I mean? We've never heard Gypsy, you know, talk about being attracted to women like that. But then all of a sudden, June like 1st or 2nd rolls around and there's 50 news articles out there about how Gypsy Rose likes women. And it's just obvious. It's, it's an obvious like a PR stunt. And it's kind of disgusting. And I even mentioned this when I talked about Jojo Siwa in some of those recent videos, how people like cling to this community to get like, I don't know, some type of recognition, clout protection. I don't know. But it was obvious what she was doing to me. Because you don't just wait all of a sudden until Pride Month to do all of these interviews about how you like girls too, right? So from what they say, the, the women who were actually in jail with her that's bogus. It's a bunch of bogus BS. So Gypsy literally tried to, the same woman who claims she doesn't want the spotlight, she literally sat and waited until June to go run to TMZ and the Daily Mail and all of the tabloids and tell them, I like girls, guys. Please, whatever you do, write 40 articles. And it's just so sickening. And even doing that voice, I've mentioned this a thousand times in prior videos. I don't believe that's her real voice. I'm sure that she's kind of squeaky, a little low pitched, but she puts on that voice as a defense mechanism. I'm gonna hide right now. Nothing can bring me down. 
she doesn't naturally talk like that. You're not going to convince me that naturally she always talks like that. This is a way that she has been trained to speak. She speaks like this to disarm you, to make you feel like she's more innocent, more harmless, more of a victim. She speaks like that. So in your mind, you're automatically viewing her almost as a child. You're viewing her as this vulnerable individual and you're not viewing her as a cold-blooded killer, manipulator, but that's what Gypsy is. And I think people lose sight of that. And I'm glad that she mentioned that in that clip, that, that Gypsy is a woman who has basically been trained her whole life how to operate, how to talk to the media, how to talk to interviewers, how to make herself look more vulnerable, innocent, to make people feel bad for her. This is a master manipulator. Like I said, she is Dee Dee's daughter. She is a lot like her mom. It's kind of scary. When you think about Think about certain tactics that her mom would use against her. Think about certain tactics that her mom would come up with to manipulate, you know, local media outlets and get people feeling bad for Gypsy and donating and stuff like that. The same way she operated is how Gypsy is operating now, except Gypsy is not manipulating the child. She's manipulating the general public maybe manipulating media, but I don't think that media or the mainstream media and interviewers, I don't think they're necessarily fooled by her. I think they're just playing along with her little game. And when the day comes that everyone's finally ready to turn on Gypsy, which the internet already has, the mainstream media hasn't yet, but I'm sure that day will come and the gloves will definitely come off. But she's not fooling me. She's not fooling most of you all. That's why you're here. And hearing people who were actually there actually have firsthand knowledge of who she is and how she is, it's somewhat refreshing because this is something that I can see. And I think a lot of you all see it as well. And even if you couldn't at first, I think I've helped you see it, right? Like, were any of you all kind of neutral and maybe I changed your mind about this topic? Or, you, you, you know what I'm saying. I know some people come in skeptical. Some people come in already on 10. Some people come in just, you know, not feeling any type of way about the situation at all. But it's nice to see other people who have actually experienced this person firsthand it's nice to hear them confirm things that I suspected. Because for me, like I said, I can see clear as day through Gypsy. You know, I could see right through her. I see right through her nonsense. But there's a lot of people who can't. And when you have people who were actually in jail with her telling you like, yeah, she's fake. Yeah, she's phony. Yeah, the voice is fake. No, she wasn't gay. It's just like, yeah. It's all right there in front of everyone's face. It's just some people choose not to see it. But like I said, I see through her all day. But let me know your thoughts about all of this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.